Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a video that my friend um, brought up the idea to me. It's um, I follow another YouTuber's makeup tutorial and the YouTuber I fall, uh, I've decided to follow is, oh, forgive me if I'm saying this wrong, Si Chen Makeupholic. First of all, this girl, no matter what kind of look she does or if she's not wearing makeup, she's freaking gorgeous, okay? Like, look at her face. <laughs> um, I decided to follow her tutorial, the Cotton Candy Pink Bomb Makeup Look. Sorry if I keep looking that way, because I'm going to be looking at the screen to follow her tutorial, and I need a gap here to put the video so you can compare it to my face. <laughs> Zoom you in a little. We're going to get started. I just want to say, this girl's editing skills are phenomenal. Like, not only is she really good at makeup, but her videos are always so artistic. Okay, start off by applying foundation all over your face and neck. I don't have the one she has, but I'm going to use this one. It's the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation with Sunscreen. It is getting warmer and sunnier here, so I'll be using one with sunscreen. Though to be honest, I'll probably just wash this off right after the video is done. <laughs> I don't have that little hair rolly thing, so if she does her brows, I'll probably just sweep my bangs to the side. So. She seems to put it right on the beauty blender, but I don't want to waste the foundation. I feel like if you do that, your sponge ends up absorbing most of it anyway. So I will dab it on my face and then blend it out with the side she's using. She's using the flat side, which I don't usually do either. I usually use this egg side to blend it in. This is for like the creases if I really do need to use it. I noticed she's not using primer. That is your choice, girl. I know some people don't really believe in primers. I for one really like using them, but okay, you're the boss. And she puts it over her lips too. Okay. Next, apply this powder onto the area that tends to crease. So for me, it's my under eye area, the side of my nose, small line, and forehead. Okay, I have that exact powder, so I will use the same one she has, the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Oh my god, I've never used that much face powder in my life, but. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah, I forgot, it comes with a puff. But we're gonna use the Technique sponge that she's using. Um, okay. Just gonna dip it out. Yeah, so she's still using the flat side of the sponge, so I will do the same. So where it creases, okay. I'm always afraid to use so much powder because I don't wanna look like a cake face. But we will follow your masterful suggestions here, Si Chen. Si Shen, I don't know, Si Shell. <laughs> powder, 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 so much freaking powder. Oh, my skin looks so dry now. <laughs> and then she said, wait three minutes, so wait three minutes and then we'll brush it off. Okay, I don't care, I don't want to wait the whole time, so I'll be using the Sephora powder brush and just getting all that stuff off my face. Again, I'm not really doing my forehead because I have bangs. I don't really see the point of putting makeup on my forehead when it's just gonna get super greasy from my bangs and you won't see it anyway. Okay, Today so far okay. I don't have contact lenses, so you're gonna have brown eyes for this. <laughs> oh, brow time. Start by filling your brows with a light brown color. It looks like she's using an angled eyebrow brush. So I will be using the same. I think there's a bit of residual eyeliner on him, so let's just swirl that off on my hand. <laughs> yeah, this does not match my hair at all. <laughs> this just looks like the wrong color for my hairs. I uh, might pick a darker color because this is looking weird. I'll just put brown to the other side too because I don't want like one black and one brown. Uh, brow. <laughs> Maybe we'll use a darker one like Cypress Umber in the same palette and we'll try that for my brow. I don't typically do my brows again because of the bangs. <laughs> so I am definitely not an expert in doing them. And she draws them really straight and I feel like straight brows make you look a lot younger. So I will do the same. Like a shade of brown color onto the outer third of your eyebrows okay and then she says put a dark one near the end so I will get to that I don't know how that looks it is a look don't know if it's a good look okay now let's use an even darker color for the outer third she says so I'll be using noir which is actually just a pure black 
But I'm gonna go with the light hand because I don't want to look crazy. Ah, it's so dark. The ABH palette, like, their color pigment is crazy. It's like through the roof how pigmented it is. Pigmented it is. And, um, yeah, they're wonderful eyeshadows. I think it's my favorite eyeshadow formula, the ABH ones. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> Like concealer, onto the brow bone and all over the lid to sharpen your eyebrow and also oh. to prime your eyelid. Okay, so she uses concealer um, as an eye, eye eyeshadow primer and to sharpen the brow. I hate using concealer as primer, but she's the boss. <laughs> I, I like using actual primer way better. So this is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin um, with Acetyl C oil free whatever some, some sort of ingredient. It's a concealer. I have the color light here, so we will put this under my eyebrows. I guess I zoomed you out too soon, but here we go. Under the brow, and like that. I look crazy. <laughs> and then she uses her finger to blend it out, so we will do the same. In the upper parts of your eyebrows. Okay, she says use a small brush to sharpen the upper parts of my eyebrows. I have the perfect brush for this, I think. So this is a Sonia Kashuk brush from when Target was still a thing in Canada. It looks similar to the shape she has, so I will put a tiny bit of concealer on and sharpen it like that too. Ugh, that looks so weird. I hope this brush is clean, otherwise I'm going to be putting weird color <laughs> on top of my eyebrow here. <laughs> she doesn't seem to use very much, so I will go light-handed too. Brow gel. Looks like hers has... I don't know if hers is colored, but mine's clear. This is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. This is the only brow gel I own because I never do my brows. <laughs> so she seems to stroke up and then straight. Like this. Wow, I actually really like how these brows turned out. Hmm. Impressive. I think the only thing I would fix in the future is um, not putting that weird light brown in at first. Brows are sisters, not twins. <laughs> okay, eyes. Okay, a pink color all over the eyes. So I'll be using this Sephora Blockbuster palette. It's also my mirror that I'm using for this video. <laughs> and I'll be using one of these pink colors, I will decide, and lay it all over the eyelid. I think this actually came from the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette, but it looks very similar to the brush she's using, so I'll be using that a matte pink, so I guess I'll be using the matte one. And bring it down to the lower lash line. And bring it down to the lower lash line, so all over. Yeah, I really don't like concealer as primer. Like, I feel like even if you use really good quality shadows, concealer actually doesn't help with the blending. It makes the colors drag more. That's just my opinion. I'm not a makeup artist, but I feel like it doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, that's pink. Next, apply purple color just above your crease line, following your eye shape. My crease? Okay, so I do have this little Asian crease, but my actual eye actually ends like right there. That's where my socket is, like right under my brow bone. No, I made it pink! Okay, I'll just fix that with concealer. <laughs> so I will put it where my actual, like my Asian crease is, where hers is, but I think her eye actually ends a lot lower than mine. But. We'll do what Boss says. I think I'll just use the other end of the Urban Decay Full. Old, I can't talk. The Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette, the small side of that brush, and we'll use a purple. So I will be using a purple, probably this guy right here or this one. Oh god, it already looks weird because my eye doesn't end there naturally. <laughs> Then use a blending brush to soften the light for a blending effect. I'll be using a Sonia Kashuk brush back when Sonia Kashuk was in Canada, but we can't get it now unless you go to the States. And I will blend it out. It's dirty, so I have to clean it first. <laughs> Let's make a gradient here. Yes, I hate blending on top of concealer because, holy smokes, it's so hard to blend on top of concealer. I don't know how you're doing that, girl. You must have a much more like silicone-y concealer than I did. <laughs> Those are eyeballs, right? Huh? Next, apply bright pink color onto the inner parts of your eyes and bring it up to the purple eyeshadow. Okay, bright pink color on both. In, did she say just inner corner? And also onto the outer corner. And the of outer your corner. Eyes, 
and wing it out. Okay, I'm going to be using this precision shadow brush from Sephora for that. And I'll be using, she said bright pink, so I'll be using the shimmery pink now because that is a lot darker of a pink inner half. Load up my brush here. So far my eyes just look really muddy. I'm trying my best. When you try your best but you don't succeed. Pink. <laughs> eh, close enough. Of your lower lash lines. Okay, outer lash line, same color, go. Then squint your eyes to find your eye bag and apply the same color onto your eye bag like so. Put the pink under my eye bag. Okay, I got it. I got a nice fat one there. Okay. Soften my eye bags. Okay. Next, apply light blue color onto the center of your crease. Apply a light blue color to the center of my crease. Do I have a light blue? That's like that. Yes, I do. Same palette. This light blue I'm going to be using. And I will apply it to the center. Okay, this is a packing brush from probably Forever 21. Looks like she just literally draws a straight line. Okay, yeah, that's looking a lot more like what she's doing now. Draw a literal straight line. Do I look weird? Yes. <laughs> Use your finger to gently blend the edges. Okay, so that blue color will go here as well and on the inner corner. Okay, so let's blend it out first. Oh, my blue's disappearing. Come back. Okay, let's put it down here, like she says. Don't get powder in your eyeball. And on the inner. Oh my god, I look so crazy. I don't look that good. I look crazy. Apply highlighter onto the brow bone. Okay, I think I have another angled brush thingy, which I do, <laughs> uh, and I'll be using, I guess to mark with the blue, this blue highlighter from the Milk Makeup um, Holographic, what is this, Holographic Powder Quad and Space Jam. Oh yeah, that's a Luke. Fluffy brush to soften for a gradient effect. So I'll be using the same brush I use the pink with, and just... Then wet your brush with setting spray and apply glitter onto the center of your crease. Glitter. Okay, so I actually don't have any glitter on me, but I do have like a glitter stick. So instead of wetting my brush, I'm going to be using this Holika Holika Jewel Light Under Eye Maker. Because there's glitter in it. It's not a blue glitter, but it's the only glitter I got. And also the center of your lower lash line. And the center of the lower lash line too. Okay. This kind of nullifies the coolness of the eyes, but that's the only glitter I got. <laughs> then line your eyes with a dark brown liquid liner, like so. Okay, so I don't have a dark brown liquid liner. Um, I don't think I have any brown eyeliner. So I'll probably just use powder, because I only have brown powder eyeshadow. But I will use a liner brush to line my eyes. It won't have the same sharp effect, but I gotta work with what I have. So I'll be using probably the um, rustic color that I showed you earlier from the ABH Soft Glam palette. Okay. Can you see this? So as you can see, it's definitely not as sharp. So I might just wet it with some setting spray and then try it that way. Okay, so I wet my brush. Hopefully that will do something. Oh, she does a wing too. Oh. You know what? She looks like she's using black. Doesn't even look brown. She's cheating. But she wings it. Okay. Oh, it's so hard to wing with powder eyeliner. It's just not sharp. I mean, it's kind of there, but... It's definitely not as sharp as if I had a liquid brown eyeliner. So I probably need to buy one. Another excuse to go shopping. Mascara to the upper and lower lashes. So curl my lashes and apply a black mascara. Simple enough. Curl. But I'll be using my favorite mascara. It's the Heroin Make Super whatever Super Waterproof Long and Curl Mascara. This mascara is dope. It works really good for my eyelashes. I did trace over that brown eyeliner with some black because I just felt like the line wasn't sharp enough. So just so you know what happened so far. 
Oh, we're using fake lashes. <laughs> Okay, apply pink mascara to the lower lashes. I actually have a pink mascara, surprisingly. This is a Hello Kitty pink mascara that I got in a gift set from a friend. And we'll be putting some on the bottom lashes. Dear God, I don't think I've ever used this mascara. It smells like watermelon. Hmm. That's enough, I think. <laughs> Cut false lashes in half, put it on just the outer corner. Okay. I have a pair that's already cut in half, so I'll be using them. I don't care if they're not the right shape, but I'm gonna do it. And this lash glue, this tiny little thing, that's like all the lash glue I own. So it just exploded everywhere. Let's see if I can get any of the glue actually on the lash band. Why do I do this? Why? <laughs> Oh, it's so gross. I think I'm just gonna throw that tube away. It's so like goopy now. <laughs> These are like huge. They too big. These are too crazy looking. Holy cow. These are like crazy looking lashes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just put it on the... Also, just fair warning, I am not an expert at putting on lashes either. So if I look crazy, I look crazy. Oh my god. Do I look crazy? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I look like a drag queen. <laughs> and she doesn't meld them together with mascara. She's moving straight to bronzer. Apply bronzer below the inner corners of your brows. And okay. Bring it down following your nose bridge and under the tip of your nose. Okay. Can do. I can do that. And I'll be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette to do that. The brown side, of course. <laughs> Oh, looks like there's poo on my face. The center of your cupid's bow. Okay. And apply the same bronzer at the side of your face to make your face appear smaller. Yes, I can always do that. Make it look smaller. I'm using a paddle brush because I don't have the kind of brush she's using. But yes, I would like my face to look smaller. Please. Apply light pink color onto your cheeks following your bone structure. Light pink blush. Will do. I'm going to use a stippling brush. I think she's using, no, she's using a kabuki, but I actually don't own any kabuki brushes. This Tarte Blush in Memorable is light pink. Let's use that. It's a little shimmery, but not a lot. Look, I don't look crazy at all. Not at all. Nope. Now what? Then apply a brighter pink color onto the apples. And now a brighter pink? Oh my god, this girl's so extra. Okay, we'll use Fancy Full, which is brighter. Okay, just right here. Just right here, a little brighter. Beauty is hard work. Mm-hmm. There we go. There we go. Highlighter onto your cheekbones Highlighter. and bring it up to the temple in a C-shape like so. Okay, so it looks like she used... I don't know, I'm just gonna use like this one because that's my favorite highlighter and the contouring brush because I don't have a brush like hers. I'm just working with what I have. Like a C, okay. to apply the highlighter at the tip of my nose and okay. nose bridge. Nose and nose bridge. I do this. This is something I do. Use a fluffy brush to blend all the colors together. Oh. Okay. With a fluffy brush, blend it all. I'm just going to use this giant paddle brush. There. Done. <laughs> Moving on to the lips, apply nudish pink liquid lipstick onto the upper parts of your lips. Nudish pink lipstick to the upper part. This is more mauve -y. I don't know if I have a nudish pink lipstick. Oh my. Press your lips together so the color can transfer down to the lower lips. Okay, press together. Mwah. So it's on the lower. Oh, it worked. Use your finger to feather it out. Okay. Like this. I actually really like this technique of feathering out lipstick because it just gives a suggestion of like, your lip shape. Like it doesn't like say this is my lip shape. This is just like, yeah, my lips border are really soft. Apply dark purple liquid lipstick onto the inner corners of your lips. Dark purple. Okay. This is a Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the color Escapist. So just in the middle. This is not the same shade of purple, but it is purple. Oh, look at this. Ooh. <laughs> Press your lips together to create a natural gradient effect. <laughs> it's like I just eat 
some weird. Okay, let's blend it out. Oh my god, this looks so terrible. Apply loose powder onto the outer corners of your lips. Loose powder. Also your lip line to soften the color. Soften my lip line with this thing and this thing. Okay. This isn't gonna fix anything. That's it, apparently. Do I look like this? <laughs> okay, well, this is the finished look. This is a close up. My eyes look atrocious. It's not her fault. It's just, holy cow, look at these lashes. I look like a drag queen. And my lips look like I uh, stuck them in some boysenberry jam. This is the look. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video where I pretty much just failed at re recreating this look, leave a like down below and leave a comment down below for what you want me to film next. And remember to subscribe to my channel. That'd be so awesome, even though I look like a crazy monster right now. Actually, from afar, you can't really tell, can you? I don't know, maybe you can. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Bye bye. Are you into me, baby? Are you into me, baby?